Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of bright light. Whatever your enemies have stolen from you, gain off of your energy without your knowing, without your permission. It has been taken from them. It is taken from them and returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and dismantled as we speak. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So let's go ahead and find out our angel number and message for today, which is seven, 77, 14, 5, okay? There, may, there must be some type of uh, a conflict going on behind the scenes, but I don't think this has to do with you. You're more so working towards your new beginning, recovering, putting in effort into your future, your goals, and things like that is what I think is going on with the collective. It says, it is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave, I'm telling you. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on in our tarot reading for today. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed and highly favored because you truly, truly are. And don't let anyone tell you any different. You are the master of your own destiny. And that is absolutely true. So there could be clarity going on about a situation, in a situation about someone. You could be receiving clarity as well from someone that you may not be expecting, right? So someone may be traveling towards you, coming towards you to bring you some type of truth um, about possibly something a group of people did behind the scenes or something um, maybe one person did or there's something going on, but you'll receive clarity about it and this is going to be judgment for you. This is going to enable you to be able to move on with your life. Now, the truth you're going to receive is going to be something absolutely harsh. Uh, it may even shock you. You may not be expecting to hear this, but in the end, after you receive this message, this clarity, you are going to be okay. You will overcome whatever this is. This Think about like someone going out of their way to just destroy you in every way, shape, and form because either one, they're jealous of you, two, you don't want to be with the person, or three, you were with the person you left and they became bitter and they took it personal. It's something like that, right? So then they took that experience and turn it into something really hateful and bitter and malicious. So they go out of their way to try to destroy your life in every single way you can think of. Someone may have even been out telling people that you were lose all kinds of stuff. There's something like that going on. But you are going to receive clarity about why something has been going on. Okay, you may be privy to the fact that people have been doing things to you, um, but someone is going to come in and give you clarity and tell you what was going on. And I think this person is going to be genuine with you because someone is going through some type of ascension. They are at a stage in their life where they are self-actualizing, seeing things from a higher perspective. And this is why they're coming to you to clarify things to you. You are also going to be receiving some type of opportunity right um this is something people have been trying to block as well so you're going to be receiving some some type of opportunity that will enable you to have a fresh start in life take help you take charge of life right wrapping that bull by the horn and just kind of moving forward we don't care how crazy the bull is the fact of the matter is that you're grabbing the bull taking charge and moving on Yes, it's going to be a little crazy. The bull is going to try to knock you off. That's life. Basically, that's how life goes. It's not supposed to be always smooth sailing. You're going to have ups and downs. 
You're going to have rocky times, but you don't let those times tear you down or break you down or keep you down. You keep moving forward. So this is what's going to happen. So you can expect for someone to be giving you clarity. The truth is going to be exposed or the truth has been exposed and it has led to someone being able to walk away or it's going to lead to someone being able to walk away from a toxic situation and move on to try and find wish fulfillment in life maybe because they see it somewhere else someone could be in a situation where they're just not content anymore and so they're leaving to go to wish fulfillment manifest some type of new beginning uh, so someone could be in heartbreak as well uh, you best believe that someone or a group of people have been paying or pay someone behind the scenes to cause you some type of heartache have you kind of just you know rejected they said hey i know you like this person but i'll pay you three hundred thousand dollars if you reject them don't date them don't make them feel good about themselves don't encourage them to feel like they're anything worth uh working with or being with or something like that so basically someone has been paying people behind the scenes to kind of tear you down and they thought this was going to work but it didn't work like someone has gone through an extensive length to do something um and it's not working it didn't pay off like they thought it was going to so you're going to be receiving clarity about this because someone's actions has put other people in some type of compromising situation and they may be really angry with this person and as I, I can hear someone going up and some as someone telling them that you're you lie you're a liar right you're a liar someone is calling someone a liar behind the scenes or this is what's coming up uh, what this person was basically doing, if this is like a woman, this could be like a queen of pentacles that's doing something like this behind the scenes, or this could be someone you dated as well that's doing this behind the scenes, has gone through an, gone through an extensive length to, be, to have you be rejected. Someone may have, may have even been pretending to be you, a better version of you, something like that. It keeps coming up in my reading, so it, it absolutely has to be going on. You also have a queen of swords that practices some type of dark form of magic by manipulate manipulating people around them this woman is very envious of you this is someone shallow and insecure but they present themselves to be someone that's a pillar of the community well put together poised and things like that but she's anything but those things okay so they they have been working basically working you from behind the scenes through different parties so if they see someone coming close to you they will interject and speak ill of you to that person so that person can reject you so if you are like starting connections with people and you realize it's going well for a while and then all of a sudden boom someone starts acting funny towards you they start mistreating you or start ignoring you things like that and you just noted like notice that the vibe is kind of off and you're trying to stabilize it with people but it's just not happening that's because there's someone behind the scenes or a group of people behind the scenes that are doing this. They are trying to manifest some type of heartbreak for you, some type of poverty for you. They don't want you being stable. They don't want you being happy. They don't want you being loved. Someone is doing some type of heart magic behind the scenes. They're sending energy, like dark energy to someone's heart so that it can stop beating. Like they just want you to drop and be gone, but it's not gonna happen that way, okay? Um, what's really going to be happening or what's going on I'm being corrected to say what is going on is that the thing whatever these people were intending for you is what's happening to them so someone could possibly be homeless right now um someone is not happy because their wish was not fulfilled whatever they were intending for you it's like they had all this plan someone has been working you either for like a year two years three years something like that for a very long time they've committed themselves to causing you an ending okay so if you some of you are working at jobs you know and things are just weird you started working the job and everything was okay you know you had a good report uh report with your uh your colleagues maybe even your boss and things like that but then things just changed and they started doing really idiotic and immature things and they thought maybe you didn't know and this is because maybe some of you have had this experience before so when they started doing stupid stuff you kind of just looked at them and let them do what they wanted to do because you already knew how it was going to end there's something like that going on uh, they may have binded themselves to something they're not able to get out of someone may be about to lose quite a lot someone is throwing a fit like someone is very angry behind the scenes they may be yelling calling someone a b a lot um and this is because they're angry 
that whatever they were intending for you did not go accordingly. Someone says the B word put a lot behind the scenes. And this is in regards to you. They call you the B, the B word. But honey, it is what it is. I mean, if they're going to call you a B, they need to give you your crown so you can put that sucker on. Okay? But you're going to be presented with some, some type of fresh beginning, new opportunity. Someone is going to present you with something and your enemies behind the scenes are not happy about that because you're going to be sealing onto common waters, moving on with your life, right? Into a new life. And this is something they've been trying to block. Think about, you know, people going out of their way to tell someone, let's say you meet um, like a, a, a someone that's very successful, very business savvy, things like that. Uh, someone um, that they don't really know you but the people around you claim to know you. They really don't know you, right? And there's some type of jealousy going on and he or she does not know that these people around you are envious of you because you're not like them. You're different. You see, you have some type of wisdom or you're very smart. Maybe you have your life together and they don't like that fact. You know, they're easily misled by superficial things and they're very insecure and immature at the same time. They see you, you're confident, you don't need to be like validated by third parties, second parties, whatever it is, right? And they're intimidated by that because they see you as someone very self-sufficient, very independent, self-reliable. You're not, you're not out here looking for handouts from people. You're not out here begging people for attention and things like that. Those kind of things turn you up, right? So then they get into some type of cahoots, maybe this masculine or this feminine mentions that they want to give you an opportunity they want to work with you because you seem to have your shit together so they then come up with a plan to kind of uh, uh uh slander your character right diminish your value in the eyes of this person that wants to work with you and this is a whole collaboration that they come up with so now day after day this person they're going in and talking ill to him or her about you and maybe he starts, he or she starts thinking, hey, well, if this person is saying this, this person is saying it, like everybody is saying the same thing about this person, it must be true. Well, it's not true. He does not realize that you're doing this out of jealousy. There's a woman in here who's a queen of swords. This woman has been following your life since you either left an environment, uh, maybe you were dating her son and you left. Maybe you worked with this woman and you left, went to school with her, you, uh, you left as well, but she's been keeping up with you. And she's been working with people behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending. It's not going accordingly. So she she's going through some type of ending herself now. So whatever energy she was putting out there for you has been returned to her. So someone is very meticulous on how deceitful and malicious they are when it comes to taking or tearing other people down or causing destruction in other people's lives. Like she's very mechanical about she, how she does it. But she, she received some type of bad news that things are not going accordingly. There was some type of sudden change that took place. So she's going through an ending. Can, listen, I said Queen of Swords. I split the deck and it's on the Queen of Swords. There's absolutely a Queen of Swords behind the scenes doing things. And she, this is someone, excuse me, my the information is coming a little bit too quickly. <laughs> That's okay. We'll make it work. This is the kind of woman that will throw rocks and hide her hand. Um, but when you see her, you know, she looks well put together and things like that. You would never assume that someone like this would participate in something so low vibrational. But this is all she is. Someone is literally like if you if there were if people had like definitions to them, hers would say low vibrational. Period. Okay. So someone does not want you receiving some type of offer, opportunity to bring that is going to bring balance into your life. Maybe they saw that you had a genuine connection with this person that wanted to give you this offer. It's like someone met you, either like a masculine met you, and uh, uh, he felt some type of instant connection to you, um, and he was very smitten by you. I don't know if like someone developed some type of emotions for you at first sight. You know that thing where this essay like love at first sight like someone saw you and they fell in love or someone may have been even hired to do you something but then they met you and fell in love at first sight and that changed everything so if someone was sent to like assassinate you or something they weren't able to because there's something there for him um you two could have like a soul contract 
uh, something like that, and he just was not able to carry it out. So day in and day out, he could have had people in his head like, well, why aren't you doing this? You should have assassinated this person. You should have executed this person a long time ago. Um, and in the beginning, he must have, he may have been giving excuses like for why he had not done it. Like he needed time. He was studying his subject. Something's really fri frivolous like that. But then it turned into him kind of getting curious as to, huh, why are they so stern? I mean, destroying this person and taking this person out. This person doesn't seem to bother anyone. They don't seem to be causing trouble for anyone. This person moves on with their life. They're not worried about what's going on with these people. Why are they still set on me destroying this person? And then it turned into, well, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it, right? So day in and day out, they're asking this person, why is he not doing this? Why is she not doing this? And maybe he finally came out and said, I'm not going to. I don't want to. I like this person. And it's pissing someone up behind the scenes. They said, what do you mean you like this person? We hired you to destroy this person and take this person out. And you're telling us that you like them, right? And this is what's going on. This may, may have happened a couple of times. I'm telling you, they're protecting you now. Instead of them coming in to destroy you, someone is protecting you now. This has possibly happened a couple of times where they've hired someone to destroy your life and this person lays eyes on you, they get to know you, and then they end up falling in love with you in some way. And it does not have to be romantic love. You heal people in some way, shape, or form that makes them, you know, just want to be around you. They appreciate the energy that you bring and give to them, possibly unintentionally. Because if you are a healer, like I'm seeing, this means that your energy is just naturally that. You're not like making any effort to heal people. You're not making any effort to be something or present yourself in a light, in a specific light for people to see you in a certain way. You're just giving up that energy naturally. Like you're, if you're someone genuine, you are automatically going to bring joy into other people's lives without any effort. Because people can tell you are genuinely like that, naturally like that. So whoever they've been sending to assassinate you, to destroy you, they are receiving that energy from you or they receive that energy from you. And it's like, I can't destroy this person. This is someone innocent. This is someone pure. And then they're looking at you and looking at the group that's trying to destroy you and they see a drastic difference. They're like, well, I see why they want me to take this person out. This is a powerhouse. And they're intimidated or jealous. He can see the difference or she can see the difference. Something's telling me this has happened twice. Twice they've hired someone to take you out. And twice the both of them have developed some type of emotion for you. And it does not have to be romantic. One of them may even see you like as a child of theirs. Like, you know, they see you as like a daughter figure or a son figure, something like that. But it's not like they don't want to go through with whatever these people hire them to do because they know it's unjust. They don't have any reason to do it. OK, and I said that and the King of Cups came out. OK, so there's something going on where you may have a soul connection with a King of Cups and people are trying to destroy this person behind the scenes. Like they want to destroy this person before he can come towards you, but that's not going to happen. Whatever union this is, it is absolutely meant to come together. It will come together. You two are going through some type of, excuse me, folks. Oh, Lord. Listen, I just had some delicious pizza. My, my kids and I made, we've been perfecting our recipe for, I don't know how long. We finally got it right my lord it was delicious excuse me like i was i was about to burp on camera please excuse me it's the pizza <laughs> anyways with this masculine they may be trying to cause some type of disturbance to this masculine before he can come towards you and give you genuine offer a genuine offer you see there's two people meeting falling in love having a genuine connection. This is what they've been trying to prevent, but you two are still going to meet by the way in divine timing. This masculine may have kind of taken himself out of this community or stepped away from this community because he's seeing it for what it is now. Maybe he was living under some type of illusion with these people. He's now standing his ground, advocating, advocating for himself, protecting himself, may even be protecting you 
without you knowing me, right? Knowing it because he knows now that you two are each other soul twin or something of that nature. Now this masculine may not be a king of cups naturally uh, or normally, regularly. I don't know what the word is. Like he's not predominantly a king of cups, but because of his emotions for you, this is this would be why he's showing up as the king of cups in this reading, right? Because he's very much invested in you you to resonate on the same frequency so he is protecting you protecting this connection in some way shape or form by standing up for you speaking up and things like that this could have been someone that may possibly stood by and just watched something play out something horrendous played out in the past but now he's taking action to bring balance into the situation and something is telling me there's nothing they can really do to this masculine. Like he's in charge or he's very high ranking in something. Um, so there's nothing they can really do to him. They may try to sneak to do something. It's not going to lead to anything. This masculine could even, I'm telling you, he, he more than likely, yeah, he possibly left this situation already or he knows what to do to get out of this situation. Um, so I don't want to look too far into him, but there's something this masculine is doing to bring balance into his life. And it is going to work out. There's going to be some type of sudden change that's going to take place that they're not expecting, but it's going to work out. These people are going, this institution, we have the tower and the hierophant. Both of these cards are institutional cards. The, the, the tower can be something that's a sudden change by the hands of the most high, but it's also an institutional card like a uh, businesses, enterprise, corporation, corporations, and things like that going through some type of change, right? Because they're either too greedy, they're too selfish, superficial, and things like that. They're going through some type of karma they were not expecting. They thought something was going to play out long, but there's some type of sudden change by the uh, act of the most high that's leading them to some type of downfall. And they're going to have to figure out how to build themselves back up, even if they're allowed to do that. And then you have to hire a fan out here, which is also another institutional car. So you could have some type of religious figure out here that's going through some type of ending himself. He may be going through some type of epiphany as well, but he, there's something going on, he or she, there's something going on. And this institution, maybe they used to do things in the upright, but now they've got into a place where they don't even remember why they started doing something that they're doing. It's like they are a shallow of what they used to be. So if they used to be in the upright, now they're in a place where it's that everything they do is questionable. It's that why are we doing this? We used to be, you know, we used to stand for something, but now this is what we are. It's a shame what we've become. There's something like that going on. There's an institution going through some type of change, absolute change, and there's a higher fan, some type of religious figure going through something as well. They may want to apologize to you for something they did to you in the past or behind the scenes. They think you don't know, but something tells me with the energy that I'm getting on who this is uh, in regards to, you absolutely know what this person did to you. You are aware of the betrayal someone did, someone took against you or some, some, something someone did to you, you are aware, but you possibly didn't even say anything to this person. You know that they were in cahoots with some toxic energies, absolutely, to block some type of offer from being given to you. They helped paint you in some type of unholy, unorthodox light, right? They said that you were someone toxic. This is what they told people you were or whoever was going to give you this offer. This is what they told this person you were. You were someone devilish, into dark magic, into low vibrational activity. Someone that drinks, someone that parties a lot, someone that gets drunk, all kinds of stuff, right? And someone is finding out that it's not true. So you could be getting some type of positive message, good news about your blessings, your inheritance, an offer. And the Most High is going to be protecting you, making sure that no one is coming into your energy to cause you some type of ending. You are due justice and you're going to get just that, okay? So whatever is going on behind the scenes with this family is not looking pretty. They're going through some type of ending. There's some type of change that they were not expecting to take place. Um, you are receiving good news who, uh, about your inheritance, your blessing, an offer, something like that. You may even have a family that wants to apologize to you because they don't realize, well, they didn't realize that they were being misled by a devious character uh, so now they may want to take uh, action to bring balance into this situation with, uh, with you they may be seeing things from a higher perspective it's that people are now choosing 
to self-actualize within this group, this family, this institution, whatever this is due to this collaboration that took place and now the truth is being uh, revealed. Someone may want to apologize to you about causing you some type of difficulties or manifesting some type of difficulty in your life, causing some type of stagnation, right? That just was unnecessary because someone misled them. So you may have a, a family or maybe just a group or someone that wants to apologize to you. However, you also have a couple in here that are very much set on causing stagnations, right? They don't want you moving forward. And because this, this is because they've invested a lot into your ending. They've paid people quite a lot of money. They've uh, manipulated quite a lot of people, taking a lot as well, taking a lot of laws behind the scenes. So they're very much committed. Something's telling me that some someone may have like went into their savings account to invest into your downfall in some way, shape or form. And it didn't turn out the way they thought it was going to. You're still going to be receiving some type of brand new beginning that's going to turn into a 10 of pentacles. So this was kind of like a frivolous uh, adventure these people went on. You're still getting true love. I'm telling you, you're still getting true love. You're still getting wish fulfillment. You're still going to be connecting with someone that's going to be very much committed to you, like the higher fan out here. Someone who you're supposed to be with is a bit of a traditionalist, or this is what they want. They may have been in a relationship where it was not a traditional relationship. It maybe it was open, or the person they were with was a little bit on the open side, or maybe they were, and they've gone through some type of ascension. So now they want to be in a committed relationship that has equal give and take reciprocity where you two pour into each other so this is what's going on now in this couple whoever they are behind the scenes what i'm seeing is that uh, uh you have quite a lot of characters that have been going up against you one person with a whole lot of people going against you you've been vigilant absolutely vigilant all along knowing exactly who was doing what why they were doing it when they did it who they spoke to all kinds of stuff and you still receive victory got victory over this you're someone very logical and intellectual it's like you see things playing out but you won't say anything you just let people carry their plans out you're like well you know what do as you please but when the time comes i hope you're that committed because some of you are going to be going to jail someone here may be going to prison or to jail for quite a long time and they don't know that yeah, absolutely. A sudden change is taking place they did not expect. And this is causing an ending for a lot of them in this collaboration. Is that people were doing something and they told them, don't do that. Like even in a spirit told them, yeah, don't do that. Don't do it. Like they were putting them in time out. There's a couple in here or someone in here was putting time out quite a few times. And this is because they were trying to protect this person from what they're about to go through or what they are going through. It's that you take action to do something and your parents steps in and say, hey, honey, don't do that. It's not, it's not the right one. It's not going to end well. Don't do it. And then they still want to force it. They wait till the parent leaves to go do it again. But maybe the parent calls and said, make sure you don't do that thing I told you not to do. It's not going to end well. I don't want you to be, you know, hurting. I don't want you to go through heartbreak. I don't want you to, you know, I don't want this to happen to you. So the parent hangs up, the child hangs up, the parent goes to wherever they're going. Lo and behold, what? The child goes and does what the parent told them not to do, only to find out now they could be going to jail, prison, uh, something is going on, they've lost everything. Maybe they've even caused the parents a lot of loss. Now the parents have to come home and find out that this child still did what it is they told them not to do. There's something like that going on here where a group of people, a couple, someone very toxic, started doing something and the most high told them don't do that. It's not going to go in your favor. You're not in the right in this situation. Someone is reaping karma. This is like you reap what you sow, what goes around, comes around, balance is always brought into situations. Someone is reaping what they sow and they don't want to take what it is that you're being given, but you have to. This is what you put out into the world. They don't want to accept what's being given to them. The cup that they're being given, they don't want it because they know that it's horrendous. This is like going out of your way to manifest catastrophic events for yourself, thinking you're manifesting it for someone because you're, you're too impulsive to think logically. You should never be this committed to someone's ending, okay? And someone took some type of, I don't know what it is they thought they were going to do, 
They took some type of action that just led to some type of disappointment for them. Immediate disappointment. Someone is absolutely like trapped in their head. Someone could be going to jail or prison for a long time. And this could have been avoidable, but someone committed themselves to destroying another life. And this is why all of this is playing out the way it's playing out. And you, for some reason, honey, they know you know. They know you know what's going on. You're showing up as a high priestess here. So you know what's going on behind the scenes. You may not say nothing. And this is very characteristic of the high priestess. They seldom say anything. Yeah, I'm telling you. They seldom say anything. This is going to come out in the reverse, which is letting me know that someone is reminiscing about you from the past, but you're not reminiscing about this person. They're going through some type of heartbreak and betrayal, just like they betrayed you, broke your heart or something like that. And now they may want to come back in your life and they can't, right? On the other hand, you have a soulmate that wants to come into your life. People are causing stagnation to prevent this person from coming into your life to give you an offer, but they will, they will come in due time in divine timing they'll come you two i don't think you two have dated before this is more so like a past life connection that's coming back together you two are two lost soulmates okay you have a soul contract together you will be coming together in this lifetime in divine timing just that you're meant to because you two have a higher purpose to fulfill wherever these people have been trying to hide yeah i'm telling you you have a contract with this person an absolute contract with this person. Whatever these people have been trying to hide, it's still going to be revealed. So they're doing all this hocus pocus at the beginning right now. And it may it may have gone on for a long time and they thought they were going to be successful. They're not. The universe always gets the last laugh. So whoever these two people are that are meant to come together, they're going to have the last laughs. Right? And these karmics are going to be sitting back behind the scenes crying their eyes out, angry. Someone is going to be throwing a fit behind the scenes that two people still got together after all of the manipulation and uh, uh, conflict that they caused. Man, they spoke ill of a feminine energy to a masculine. Like, they tore you down. Destroy your image. Someone in here, you are celibate, and they took, told this man that you were loose, you were reckless. They tell him you go to parties, you hook up with people, you're celibate. Someone is celibate in another, in a feminine energy lie. Someone may have even told this masculine that they had a one night stand with you, but they didn't. Okay. So you have, yeah, you have some type of contract with this person. Okay. Dang. Hmm. Someone may be feeling uncertain about their work, the contract that they have at work. Someone may be feeling uncertain about that. They don't know if they even want to be there anymore. Can you imagine going to work every day and seeing people with their masks off and having to be, to be brave, right? I'm telling you, it's a tower. It's a tower. They were committed to doing these rituals. They may have even been carrying out some type of ritual and a tower took place a tower took place they, they were committed they were committed they said we're going to carry this ritual out it's a full moon it's a new moon let's go clock what like around the clock every new moon every full moon they said we got to do this so this these two do not connect we got to do this so this person is not seen as someone intelligent and you're very intelligent <laughs> probably smarter than all of these people put together <laughs> you i'm telling you <laughs> smarter than all of these people put together everyone in here that is hiding their faces hiding their hands you're smarter than every one of them put together more powerful than them, than them too like you more you have more spiritual gifts and abilities than anyone in here put together actually and it terrifies someone in this group they picked a fight with the wrong one basically picked a fight with the wrong one okay hmm. yeah i'm telling you there's an institution going through something there's a family a couple going through something they may have 
done something really stupid now they're going through some type of financial like Someone committed themselves to the wrong thing. It's ridiculous. That moon car is just letting me know that this is something these people have been committed to, causing you some type of fear, having you live like you not live. They wanted you feeling insecure, right? Destabilized, not knowing how things were going to um end. Like if you committed yourself to something, they didn't want you to feel secure that it was going to uh, um flourish so these are people that will do things behind the scenes to interfere with people work their livelihood their resources so they want you to commit yourself to what you're doing but not knowing if it's going to be prosperous it's meant to be prosperous but they will take action to cause interferences okay they want you living in fear that hey am i going to lose my job and is this going to happen and the whole time the most high said hey keep your eyes on me we don't have time to be doing all that little girl stuff little boy stuff keep your eyes on me i told you to keep your eyes on me stay focused on me i need you to focus on the path that i told you to get on there's something here where people want you to feel like you're on the wrong path you're not you are not some of you started path, uh, journeys and you were seeing rainbows and all kinds of stuff, signs and symbols from the spirit realm telling you that, hey, you are on the right path. Rainbow, right? You are on the right path. You are ascending. Every time you see a rainbow, you should know that either you are going through some type of ascension or you are about to go through some type of ascension. You're about to embark on a new journey. That is what that means. I know the Bible told us when we see a rainbow that reminds us that God will never flood the earth again. Meanwhile, we have flaws like every year. <laughs> that, that, that math ain't mathing. But when you see a rainbow, that means that you are about to embark on a new journey. You're about to ascend in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Your soul is ascending. They didn't want you on the right path. You somehow managed to find your purpose, discover what your purpose was in life. And they made it their mission to distract you. They said, if we cause enough distraction, they'll know, they'll realize or feel like they're on the wrong path and they'll give up. You didn't. You went through a dark night of the soul. You committed yourself to your dark night of the soul, making it through, and you were going through towers and stagnation throughout but you kept going <laughs> you kept going you're like nah i'm not letting fear stop me anymore that's what they wanted they wanted you to be in fear and just give up and this is something they did to this masculine as well and now he lives in some type of fear he's hesitating on what to do he doesn't know if if he comes to you if you're going to reject him he does not know okay but you, collective, you're choosing to not live in fear anymore. It was like, I don't care about none of that stuff you guys are saying. I already, I've been told my future is prosperous. The Most High has already told me, yeah, to stand my ground, fight my battles, not run away. Okay? So if someone thought that you were about to jump ship off of your purpose, your path, your destiny, honey, they have a whole nother mother effing thing coming for them. Because the, the, the journey is just starting. You are, some of you are, are, are like in love with your purpose. If you don't know what your purpose is, you're about to find out. Do some self-actualizing. You'll find out what it is. So if someone thought they were going to distract you or cause some type of fear in you and you were just going to give up, uh, yeah, that's not how that's going. You all need to learn. I'm saying this because I went through this before. You need to learn to stop letting fear stop you from doing the things you're meant to do, the things you you want to do. Okay? Do not let fear stop you. This is the tactic of the enemy. Okay? Yeah, this is the tactic of the enemy. This man is afraid that he's not going to get his wish fulfillment with you. That when he comes into your energy, you're going to reject him. That you're going to see him in some type of negative light. Okay? And you're going to reject him. But it looks like you two will have victory together. He knows that he juggled you in the past. This is not someone you dated. This is someone new. For you two are past life soulmates. He juggled you in the past because people were lying to him and he listened to them. 
So he's afraid of coming towards you because he doesn't think he's gonna get wish fulfillment. Like you're gonna tell him, no, I don't want to. I don't want to work with you. I don't want to be with you. I don't ever want to see you again. Something like that. I mean, hey, <laughs> someone stays in their mind a lot. Yeah, this masculine stays in his mind a lot. This institution, honey, they're fighting. They're fighting. There's a queen of wands that's been exposed. She's not getting her wish fulfillment. She thought she was going to pretend to be you long enough. She's going to steal something that belongs to you. Someone may have even stolen from you before, and they thought they were going to repeat the same cycle. It's not happening. Your destiny is yours. Only you can fulfill your purpose. And this instant, there's some type of fight going on behind the scenes because she didn't get what she wanted. She was rejected. I think she thought this masculine because you were not around. Eventually, he was going to give up on you and give, give her this offer. He's not. He's not interested in this woman. This man is very much smitten by you, so it does not matter how much time goes on. He's still going to come and commit to you. Whether that's in work or love, he's still going to come and commit to you. So she's wasting her time. He, she's not getting her wish. You see the star in the reverse next to this woman? She's not getting her wish. Someone sees this woman for exactly who she is. She only commits to things if it's beneficial for her. And she gives the bare minimum. She gives the bare minimum. Okay? Meanwhile, this masculine, he studied you from behind the scenes. And he knows you're very committed to your path, your purpose. He said, oh, this is someone I need to partner up with. They're committed. They're loyal. They're creative. They're smart. Right? Someone's positive. He sees you as eccentric, but that's not something that bothers him. He likes that you're different. There's nothing unique about someone in here. She wants to be seen as unique and eccentric, but she's not. It's that he sees her when she's talking, and he said, yeah, she says a lot of, you know, good stuff, but I'm just not feeling it. She just does not have anything, like, she doesn't have that genesis quad to her. But someone wants a masculine to believe that she has that genesis quad to her. Someone has perfected how to play with people's emotions to get their attention. If she's on social media, she's learned the formula on how to get people's attention and hold on to it get them get them like capture captivated into what she's saying but what she's saying does not really have substance if you listen because her heart is not really in it you got to pay attention that's something that's going on here this is why she's not getting her wish fulfillment and it's causing conflict behind the scenes she's burdened she may be going back and forth with this masculine or this institution is going back and forth with her. They're all fighting and arguing behind the scenes because he's still making the right decision to come towards you with this offer. And they thought they had, I'm telling you, he's still giving you this offer. He's taking it somewhere else, not to her. And they're disappointed. They are disappointed because they've gone above and beyond. They've gone to practitioners. There may even be a practitioner amongst them, which would be their queen of swords that does a lot of manipulations. And all of it led to nothing. Think about the ones that pay people all the money behind the scenes to cause you stagnation, to manipulate people about you, slender your character, defame you, telling people you are a ho ho ho. And some of you are celibate. So how are you a ho 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 if you're celibate? This is what they're doing behind the scenes. This is how the enemies move. When they don't have anything they can use against you, they come up with lies. They come up with lies. Yeah, they come up with lies, illusions. They cause illusions to everybody around you because they want to isolate you so that you can be rejected. They want to ask, isolate you, deplete you of your resources, your comfort. They don't want you to be accepted, right? Yeah, they isolate you. They don't want you getting new opportunities, having new beginnings. But they're disappointed because you're still receiving it. You're still receiving your new beginning. Man, I'm telling you, you're still receiving it. And they're, they're going to be disappointed for the rest of their lives. 
that people are about to see. I'm telling you, you're receiving it. Your good news, you're receiving it. People are going, uh, these people are about to be sitting behind the scenes and regretting every action they took against you all for no reason, simply because of jealousy and greed. There's a lot of money in here somewhere. I see the Ten of Pentacles. This is why they were so committed to blocking two people from coming together. And all it did was reveal the truth about them, led this masculine to protecting himself, standing his ground and speaking up for you. And it's leading to a tower for them. This whole institution, they're fighting amongst themselves. Things that could have been avoided if they would have just left you two alone to be. This is a whole divine union, by the way. A whole divine union. Someone, someone is waiting to hear that, oh, we've caused stagnation. They won't be coming together this lifetime. That's not happening. That's not happening. These two are still going to commit to each other. They're still going to meet, form a friendship, have some type of closure, commit to each other. And regardless of what, what's up ahead, they're going to face it together. They're going to face it together. I'm telling you, honey, shoot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Dang. Someone is waiting to hear that your resources have been depleted. Someone is waiting to hear that you are out cold on the street. Someone is waiting to hear that you are here no more. They don't want to hear any positive news about you. They don't want to hear that you recover. They don't want to hear that you heal. They don't want to hear that you're out here walking around and living the vita loca. They don't want to hear that you are relaxing, chilling, chilling, bro. They don't want you. They don't want you doing any of that. They do not want you recovering from anything they've put you through. And believe me, you, they put a lot of you through the ringer. They have put you all through the ringer. But you are closing this chapter whole, together, a brand new person. You're a better person now than you were when this started. I guarantee you that you're more alert. I'm telling you, you are more alert now than you were before. This is part of our journeys. This is part of our soul's journey. As we progress through experience, we become more alert, more vigilant. We become a little bit more on the feisty side of things because we see things for what it is. I don't mean like you're out here just picking fights and things like that. But when someone brings it, brings it to you, you know how to handle it. I'm telling you, you take charge. You're taking back your power. Someone does not like the fact that you're taking back your power. They want you to be living in fear and anxiety, but you don't. You're vigilant, but you're not afraid of nothing. Man, come on. Nobody has time to be playing with these people. Yeah, no one has time. So now that the masculine wants to still come towards you, they're planning an ending for him. They're planning an ending. They want to take his resources away. They want to deplete him. They may want to unalive him and things like that. And he's still putting an end to this chapter, which is justice for him and you. Okay? And he's taking on the necessary energies per the situation so that he can maneuver his way around these karmics. Okay? This man is not confused anymore. They've been causing a whole lot of confusion behind the scenes. This man sees you as his equal as his partner someone has been i'm telling you judgment this man sees you as his equal and his partner and someone has been working hard behind the scenes to get him to see them how he sees you can you imagine going in every day around someone putting on a show not knowing that they know what you're about but you're committed to getting something from them because you know they have money and all you care about is the money and he don't even see you that way. There's something like that. Something like that is going on for someone. 
And for someone here, there could have been like a one night stand. And maybe she thought he was going to give her an opportunity or something like that. He said, no, 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 no. I, I, you're good for something, but that's not what you're good for. <laughs> He's like, I already got what I needed from you. You already fulfilled your purpose. That's fine and right for now. As a matter of fact, that's it. I don't need nothing else from you. That someone has served their purpose in the life of a masculine, but she's wanting him to commit. Someone in here, they didn't know like a masculine was testing them to see how easy they would, they would give it up. And that girl, Lord Jesus, she's ready quicker than a, uh, 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 what do they call those things? Uh, uh, Pillsbury, you know those things? You pull them. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Lord. That girl became a croissant. <laughs> he, all he had to do was peel the paper bag and boom. It puffed up. It's a oh, I didn't know it was that easy. Usually it's gonna be a little difficult. <laughs> All you had to do with that croissant was just peel the paper back, and it was a I'm here. And he said, Oh, well, she's fulfilled her purpose. And now she wants him to commit to her. And he said, uh, yeah, I don't think so. But this new beginning, this offer, this clarity, this truth being exposed, it is absolute judgment for the collective, okay? They're fighting with this man for no reason. It's like this man wants to leave. Let him leave. You're fighting with him. Don't give her that opportunity. Don't connect with her. She's going to leave, cause you to lose. She's retarded. She's this and she's that. Don't do this. Don't do that. That why he's so invested in someone's life, what he's choosing to do with his life. Why are you so invested? 10, completion, something is done. 6, stealing on the karma water. 7, luck. Right? Baby. <laughs> with a hint of luck, you still on the karma water and completed a chapter. How about that? <laughs> With a bit of luck, darling. With a bit of luck, you sail on the karma waters and you completed that karmic chapter. And you came out thinking you. Dang. All right, let's see what our angel numbers are. We have seven here. Um, you have a great ability to take in and process information in both conscious and subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Okay, six, moving on to karma waters, healing, recovering, transitioning, ascension, elevation of the soul. It's a trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced. 10 completion. Okay, it says you have a you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. I am ingenious. This reminds me someone in here you could be dealing with someone that met you and they saw that you were a great leader and it intimidated them. So they made, they made it their mission to lower you down, lower your self-esteem. They said, you're too young to have all of those qualities. I'm, I'm in my 60s, I'm in my 40s, I'm in my 50s, and I don't have all of those qualities. You're better than me. So I'm going to dismantle you, lower your self-esteem. It didn't work. It didn't work. Okay? It did not work. Okay, so anyways, honey, at the end of the day, these two people are coming together, collective, whatever is meant for you, you're still receiving it as the most high has deemed fit for you. Okay, so anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.